Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome! In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Moonfire, a legendary pistol. It has this red text here that says, Meet your destiny. What is this in reference to? I think it's a reference to destiny. Um, I don't know if that's actually true or not. A lot of these other guns in this expansion seem to be related to destiny in some way, shape, or form. Um, in Destiny 1, there was a gun that had a very similar mechanic to this one. If you guys think it's from something else or know it's from something else, please let me know in the comments below, because we'd all love to learn. Now, what does this actually do for this gun? Well, this is a torque gun that has almost hit-scan projectiles. Like, there's no slow-moving or anything else like a lot of the other torque guns. Um, also does insane amounts of damage. And every third shot you shoot, it shoots like a beam projectile, I'm going to call it that. It looks like a laser beam. Um, and it does just over two times the damage. I was shooting the target dummy at base for around 20 to 21k. And on the laser beam crit, it was doing 45 to 46k. So it's definitely over double, but I, it's some stupid small percentage over double. I'm not going to do the math out exactly. If someone else wants to and put it below, feel free. Let me all know in the comments. Because again, we would love to learn. Now, that's all I believe it does to this gun. It makes it kind of like a hit scan weapon. And it does that uh, powerful shot every third shot. Um, I have seen these with six round mags. Mine only is a five. But anyways, guys, on to the way it looks. Um, it just looks like a normal Torg pistol, to be totally honest. Nothing special. I haven't seen one with a different aimer than this, which is kind of odd to me. If you guys have one with a different aimer or elements on it, please let us all know because I have not seen them with elements on it and I haven't heard of anyone talking about them with elements on it. Now for my personal thoughts and overview. Well, first I'm going to show you guys this whole beam thing. So that's one, two, and three. You guys can see that that third shot is most definitely different. Third shot. I'm sick. Sorry if I splur some words here. Slur some words. Wow, I just cannot talk right now. I'm trying to still make content for you guys when I'm like dying in my low awake. I have been sleeping like 18 hours a day to try and get over this. I'm a mess. But you guys can see here that this is now arguably the hardest hitting pistol in the entire game going up to the dummy with all the other pistols this thing has the potential to do by far the most damage per shot out of all of the pistols there um, even everyone's old favorites like the companion and whatnot this thing still hits hard with them especially with the times two damage thing um, and it just feels absolutely amazing to use as it's hit scan it's a torque it hits like a truck and if you count your shots properly and make sure you land that third uh, shot you just do crazy amounts of damage now one pet peeve i have this thing is this thing seems to be more accurate in hip fire than it does in uh, aimer mode for whatever reason this reticle uh, well in iron sights mode is just stupid it's huge it's insanely inaccurate um, when you're in hip fire it's as small as you could possibly be it's almost like a laser beam and you guys can see the difference here I, I really really don't like that because it forces you to use it in hip fire which I should like because everyone makes fun of me that I hip fire too much and I do so I guess technically this gun gives you a reason to hip fire but that's one huge pet peeve I have of this gun but like other than that wow okay yep half asleep guys and sick makes my aim even worse than it normally is and it's normally not that great um, this thing is just an absolute monster you guys could take it to the fire range yourself and test it against all the other pistols in the game and you'll see that there are some other ones that under perfect circumstances have the potential to do as much damage as this one and maybe slightly more but this one will do it a lot more frequently a lot more regular and those are just the pistols that have like huge aoe um grenade splash damage things on them that you would have to hit the target with all the other splash things to actually nail it down um for those that like my mayhem 3 gameplay videos i did actually add them to this video itself so after we're done with this and i tell you guys where to get this thing it will go into a segment of me doing some mayhem 3 with this pistol yeah 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 i know you're a deadly badass goliath i don't know why i was aiming for his head there because if i blew off his head i might not have been able to get myself back up and that would have been an absolute disaster you guys can see here on true ball hunter mode this thing absolutely just freaking face rolls just like every other gun i just like doing things down here to just show off the mechanics to be able to talk to you guys not to focus way too hard but on another note let's get into my short overview of this thing like super quick recap i love this thing it does crazy damage it's not my play style but it is really fun it feels amazing to use the hit scan on a torg is absolutely amazing that third shot damage is through the freaking roof on a pistol and if you love magnums and all that kind of gameplay this thing is definitely up the alley for you 
you should definitely get it and give it a shot. And if you're looking to get one of these things for yourself, for me, it dropped off Wotan the Invincible on Mayhem level four. He is the boss of the new raid that just dropped. Um, I do not know if it is only a Mayhem four drop and if you have to get it off him, that is just where I personally got it. If you guys got it from somewhere else, please let us all know in the comments so we can have a nice little pool of where to get those things go. And now we're gonna jump right into the Mayhem three gameplay guys. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Mayhem three part of the video here for the Moonfire legendary pistol. Um, you guys can see here I'm basically running absolutely no gear or anything that adds to this gun in any way, shape, or form. And the map modifiers do give it minus 20% gun damage. Um, and none of this other stuff really applies to this gun whatsoever. So we're running this with one negative uh, modifier with almost no gear that modifies this thing. And uh, I am going to warn that uh, these kind of pistols are not my playstyle not a super fan of it um, this is probably the hardest hitting gun like i was talking about earlier um, in this magnum category and more power to all those people that enjoy playing this way we're going to try and bait these guys into me while just popping rounds off at them i've tried going out there and staying toe to toe with this thing with them and it does not work with my lack of build for it uh, trying not to repeat myself here but either way Whittle him down. Did he die? Yeah, he died from some feet shots here. Put some headshots on this guy. It's still really weird how this thing is more accurate in hip fire than it is uh, in actual like aiming mode. Get him dead? No, he cannot. Oh, don't get stuck. Got too close to walls. We're so dead. Now I've got myself a problem. I put myself at range to the targets I got at low HP. I know one of these guys is low. Am I gonna be a dumbass and let myself die right here, right now? Nope. Managed to wing it on that guy. It was like body blocking for his friend, like a total champ though. Give him that much. You, I missed the freaking headshot. That was the added bonus one. Power slide! We dodged it. Oh, we did. Oh, hello, other guy. Jumping over your head. Inside, coming through. Don't really want to poke y'all. Just gonna shoot that wall a whole bunch on yourself. That's not what it's looking like. I would love an angle on you. You're refusing to give me one. Nice hard crit right there. Oh, shoot your arm out, buddy. I hate the shield, guys. They're pain in the ass. Especially when you're limited to a single type of gun for these stupid videos. It's not actually stupid, I like making these guys for you. It's a little challenge here. Of like not armor matching and doing things completely zeroed out. Rotate around, rotate around. Come out this side, do that, fade away. Can we this one? Yes we can, okay. Can we delete you over here? Not if I missed all my shots. Whiffing it. I guess being sick and rusty from being away for 16 days just makes me whiff more than I normally do. Can't say I normally land all my shots, but you know I can pretend I do here. Oh, nailed it. 37 laser crit. Into a 47 crit. I think I'm two shots. Yeah, okay. So now it's two more shots till double damage. I kind of like the whole added counting your shots thing. It just adds a little more skill to this gun here. Die? Yeah, you're gonna die. You decide to stand there like a fool. Get out of here, skull. Nobody likes you. Who's left? I hear some explosives going off, means there's at least a badass life somewhere. He's actually kind of afraid, right? Um, could have left him at low HP just to be a get out of jail free card for myself. Oh, hey, you coming up to say hi to me? That'll be the last thing you ever do. Oh, what's up, Psycho? Get out of here, Skull. Um, pretty sure you're gonna get shot today, just after this guy gets shot. Tanky SOBs. I stand just outside the spinny range, we are fine. Well, I guess I was making up the explosion sounds. Is that what was going on? But either way, guys, that is one wave of Mayhem 3, so you guys can kind of get a feel for this. If I could get to the right screen to do this outro, that would be absolutely great. Um, the reason I don't do this on Mayhem 4 is because Mayhem 4 seems to be really, really built and made for specialized builds, which I just don't have for all these guns. 
Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you stopping by. I hope you like this new format, and I hope you like this video. And if you did, check out some of these videos appearing above me. There should be a playlist of a whole bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, things, like me, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification. Watching all my content front to back, so it really helps my analytics. And you know, being an awesome member of the community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig free out!